let's quickly get rid of the boxes ah there's the hard casing yes so first you get the manual the spreader tray will come along with the tripod so here we get the 28 mm new type counterweight shaft from ioptron the power adapter for 220 volt ac And we have the azimuth adjustment peg for the tripod base and this is the go to Nova hand controller one point it does not come with a battery the cable for the hand controller and we also have the GPS module and there's the CM40G. Be careful here, the RA clutch will be in disengaged position to prevent any gear damage. So there is likelihood that the mount will swing, so be careful. This mount has a maximum payload capacity of 18 kgs excluding counterweight. In my case, however, the max weight uh, is going to be around 11 kgs. And we have the periodic error chart measured by the encoders. Now let's open the counterweight. As I am based in lower latitude, 12.7 degree, I just need to check during slew if the counterweight would touch the legs. And here we have the iPort for connecting GPS and extra accessories. Here we have the main power connection, the on off switch and the USB 2. I am going to use the USB 2 for connecting it with my PC and trying to control that through Stellarium. Here we see the altitude adjustment knob. And we have the ST4 port for auto guiding. Though in the initial phase, I don't need that because I have an inbuilt auto guider. Let's open the cap and see the auto guiding uh, optics. So auto guiding system over here is a 30 mm aperture, 120 mm focal length with an inbuilt camera. On the shuttle, we have this very nice entry chamfers on both Los Mandy and Vixen uh, slots, both on the top and the bottom side to ease the mounting.
Now the important thing is, um, you know, I noticed that there is a note over here that uh, the CR2032 battery is not installed. What it means is uh, any date, time and customized settings that you're storing in the controller will not be saved. Now once I put these batteries, uh, all my settings are going to be saved uh, safely even I turn off the mount. Hey guys, so there's the new CM40G and uh, after unboxing now it's time to do the preliminary configuration so power adapter let's so let's connect the power adapter The GPS module that has come and uh, probably it will go over here, say in the iPod. Put it near the window so that it receives the signal. And I believe um, finally the hand controller and uh, the cable that has come along with this. So uh, let's put it over here. And I will see if I Over here. Nice. Right, let's power it on. Now I connected the mount using the USB 2 cable with my laptop and updated all drivers. So that was uh, all about uh, the unboxing of uh, iOptron CEM40G and some initial bench testing using the hand controller as well as uh, my laptop through the USB cable. Um, the tripod is yet to arrive. Hopefully I will receive uh, by end of next week. Uh, once I have that, it will be paired with uh, the William Optics uh, GT81 uh, APO triplet. Um, hopefully I will uh, configure this by end of January, put together everything and then the learning curve uh, goes through. I'll keep you guys posted. Thanks for watching. Please don't uh, forget to like, subscribe and comment. Clear skies. Bye.